Well, my goodness, I had some problems. I thought I had two skids of Bristol Stone 1 and one skid of Bristol Stone 2. I did have the two skids of Bristol Stone 2, except the skid that I thought was Bristol Stone 1 is some for other weird E.P. Henry paver. I, I don't know, it's old. The, the Bristol Stone 1 and 2 you can lay together, but this paver didn't work. You could not lay it together. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do now? So I went over and I looked into the bone yard and oh, sure enough, we have two skids of, of the Bristol Stone 1 here. So, and those do lay together. So now I have what I need. After a bit of driving around and getting stuff, I'm ready to lay again. All the nines are screeded there. I didn't finish up the walkway yet. I think Weston's coming tonight to help lay. So a little bit of payback time for him. It is now time to put Ben's patio in. He is laying stuff, and I'm even laying stuff. Although this paver is about to be enough to give me brain cramps. Struggling a little. Yeah, struggling a little. It's E.P. Henry. Touch it. Hey Ben, pretty soon it's time to break out the cereal, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I have for lunch. Did you? I did actually have honey bunches of oats. The only problem is it's not quite 3 a.m. yet. Yeah. That's not, I've grown older and wiser. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Oh, well, we got a bunch of pavers laid in. It's actually looking pretty good. Hi, Chase. People, it's a little nippy out. People got blankets. You like to get into the video, Chase? Oh, let me, let's see what Chase does if I go over here. Just Chase, go, oh, yep, Chase likes to be in the video. Uh, tut tut, yeah, tut tut too. Update on day two of my own hardscape build. We got um, the whole family helping. Got these papers laid in last night with the help of Weston. I just started to lay in the porcelain pad. I had to re-screed that because these papers are two different thicknesses. I got the herringbone uh, borealis cut in this morning. My wife and the girls are putting in the border right now. Are you helping, Regina? Are you helping? That turned out really nicely. Not too bad for freebie stuff. A little bit of a flare on there. Yeah. I'm glad Wesson talked me into this walkway. I was thinking of not doing it. Well, because I didn't want to spend the extra materials to put it in, but I can already tell we're going to use that. So one last bit here of cutting. This stuff's a bit tough to lay because it doesn't have a spacer. They actually make a plastic clip for the bottom that keeps your joint size the same. And this is a pretty small area, so I'm just gonna try to eyeball it. See how that goes. Get it close and put joining material on the rest. All right, get back to laying. It's coming along nice. Wow, 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 look at this. This came together really nicely. I managed to cut that all in. I'm doing a uh, concrete board, uh, edging on this one because I had some here and I used clean stone for the base. This is the Borealis all laid in, a little bit of E.P. Henry Bristol stone, and a little bit of um, a porcelain paper. That's my idea of a fireplace for now. Whenever I want to, I can just cut a circle in there and put a better one in. I do like those smokeless inserts. They work really nicely. That thing's just a little bit smaller. So now on the agenda for today, I have to get this done today. I want to grade all of this down and uh, put a flower bed around it and uh, mulch it and make it all pretty. Maybe even seed grass. That would be nice depending on how much I get done. So a bunch of mess to clean up and now this is done. Woo! I'm really I'm really pumped about this. It turned out really nice. Okay, let's get to work. Wow, today was a scorcher. 
I got uh, all the dirt work done, raked out. After much debating, we got a bed edge we like. And now I get to do the fun part, the planting and the mulching. I went up to my mom and dad, which is just up there, not very far at all. And they have a big nursery and man, I have trouble. I want one of everything. I picked out some stuff and now we get to plant and mulch. It's the, the icing on the cake. Last little bit, see what we got here. I didn't get very many plants, just a truck full. Got some variegated lyrope. That is a, a new hydrangea called Let's Dance Can Do, I think. It's beautiful. It's supposed to bloom, for real. We have trouble with those uh, not blooming every year, but those were supposed to. And some coral bells and some grasses. Let's lay them out. Get this planted up and mulched and washed down and oh, I still have to put in the jointing. And then it's a wrap, just in time too. My three day weekend is running out. Hey guys, thanks so much for following along on this project. Super fun build. I do a bunch of stuff every summer, a lot of projects, but you know what? This one was the most fun because uh, it was in my own house and we had a good time with the wife and the children helping and yeah, it was a busy weekend, but we've had it for a few weeks now and I'm telling you what, it's, it was a good investment. The kids spend it. <laughs> every day out here, uh, learn how to ride bikes and just being able to have a spot outside where you can hang out, eat supper, sit by a fire, it's worth it. I know what you're all thinking, where's the water feature? Duh, patience. I have this little stash where I'm sticking a few dollars aside and after a while I'm gonna have one. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but somewhere on this edge, I like to bring the pond right up against here. You know, I'm not, no swim pond or anything, just something to keep fish. I do like fish, uh, maybe like a, I don't know, 11 by 16 with a stream going back there, build a mound here. I started this idea soon after I bought the place. And so I put some trees in a while cause I wanted something bigger. That actually worked out really nice. Now we have this space here, already have some pretty nice service berries there, but I'm probably gonna have to move that and build a mound up in here for, for the next phase. So it is coming. In the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy our time out here. You know, slowly but surely add some lighting and then work our way towards the water feature. So let me know what you think. I'm very happy how it turned out considering I just, you know, took the scraps and stuff. Tussie is a great company to work for. They just let me use their tools and excavator and trucks and they let me have their paver scraps and so it, all this would have never been possible if it wasn't for their generosity but uh i was just thinking if i would have had to go and pick out you know whatever i wanted for a project it probably wouldn't have come together as nicely as this one did so i didn't have to make any decisions i used what was there actually went together really nicely <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments see you in the next one